Hello, and welcome to Investigating the Universe, where we delve deep into the mysteries of our world and beyond. Here we unravel the enigmas that have puzzled humanity for centuries, using the lens of science to explore and explain. Today we're venturing into the ethereal realm of ghosts and paranormal activities. We'll be using the power of scientific investigation to shed light on these phenomena that have both terrified and fascinated generations. So if you're ready, let's start our journey into the unknown. Scene script. Ghosts. Just hearing the word might send a shiver down your spine. But what are they really? The notion of ghosts, specters, phantoms, call them what you will, has been a part of our collective consciousness for centuries. These ethereal entities have been a staple of our stories, our folklore, our myths, and our media. From the haunted houses of Victorian literature to the eerie specters of modern horror movies, we've been entranced and terrified by these spectral apparitions. But let's strip away the layers of narrative and symbolism for a moment. What's the common thread in all these depictions? Well, a ghost is generally thought of as the spirit or soul of a deceased person or animal that can appear in visible form or other manifestation to the living. They're often depicted as being trapped in a sort of limbo between this world and the next, often tied to specific locations or objects. Yet despite their prevalence in our culture, ghosts are by nature elusive. They're not something we can touch or measure with traditional tools. They exist in the shadows, in the corners of our eyes, in the vague feeling of being watched. Now I know what you're thinking. This all sounds very mystical, very supernatural. It's the stuff of campfire tales and old wives' tales, right? Well, not so fast. Believe it or not, science may offer some explanations for these spectral apparitions. You see, just because something can't be seen or touched doesn't mean it can't be studied. And that's exactly what some brave scientists have set out to do. They've taken on the task of trying to understand these elusive entities, not through seances or Ouija boards, but through the rigorous application of the scientific method. So buckle up because we're about to delve into some truly fascinating territory. We're going to explore the science behind the supernatural, the empirical evidence of the ethereal. We're going to confront our fears, challenge our preconceptions, and maybe, just maybe, come to understand a little more about the world around us. Now that we've set the stage, let's move on to what science has to say about ghosts. Science is a tool we use to understand the world around us, and it also offers some intriguing insights into the phenomena we call ghosts. In an attempt to explain ghostly encounters, science has presented us with several theories that may shed light on what's really going on. Let's delve into some of these theories. Firstly, we have the concept of infrasound. This refers to sound waves with frequencies below the lower limit of human audibility. Infrasound, although we can't hear it, can cause feelings of unease or dread and has even been linked to visual hallucinations. In a fascinating study by British scientist Vic Tandy, it was discovered that a low-frequency sound wave at about 19 Hz was present at a supposedly haunted laboratory. When the source of the sound was removed, the ghostly sighting ceased. Could it be that some ghostly apparitions are really just our brains reacting to these low-frequency sounds? Next, we have the theory of electromagnetic fields, or EMFs. Some researchers suggest that strong EMFs can cause hallucinations or other sensory perceptions that could be mistaken for ghosts. A study conducted by neuroscientist Michael Persinger showed that magnetic fields could stimulate the brain's temporal lobes causing some people to perceive a presence in the room. Another scientific explanation could be hallucinations induced by various factors like sleep deprivation, substance use, or certain medical conditions. In fact, a condition called Charles Bonnet syndrome, often experienced by individuals with significant visual loss, can cause vivid, complex visual hallucinations, sometimes perceived as ghostly figures. And let's not forget the power of suggestion. If one is told a place is haunted, the mind may create an apparition based on that suggestion. This has been demonstrated in numerous psychological studies, where participants reported ghostly experiences after being told a location was haunted. It's also worth noting that many ghost sightings occur in old buildings with poor air quality. Could these sightings be the result of exposure to toxic mold? 
Some scientists think so. A 2017 study found that exposure to certain types of mold can cause symptoms like irrational fear and dementia, which could potentially explain some ghost sightings. In conclusion, while the existence of ghosts is still a topic of debate, science provides us with some rational explanations for these phenomena. It's fascinating to see how our minds and bodies can react to certain stimuli, creating experiences that feel incredibly real, even if they're not. As you can see, the ghosts we fear may be more grounded in reality than we think. But what about paranormal activities or those eerie Ouija board sessions? Let's delve into this fascinating topic. Many people believe that these activities are driven by spirits or supernatural forces. However, science provides a more grounded explanation. Predominantly, these phenomena can be attributed to psychological factors, such as the ideomotor effect. The ideomotor effect is a psychological phenomenon wherein a person makes motions unconsciously. In the case of Ouija boards, participants may unknowingly move the planchette, the small heart-shaped piece of wood, due to their expectations and beliefs about how the session will unfold. This unintentional movement can be mistaken for the work of spirits. This isn't to say that the experiences people have with Ouija boards aren't real. They are very real, but they are created by the mind, not by spirits. The human mind is incredibly powerful and can create experiences that feel intensely real. This effect isn't limited to Ouija boards. It can explain many instances of supposed paranormal activity. For instance, if you enter a supposedly haunted house expecting to see a ghost, your mind might trick you into seeing one. This is a form of pareidolia, where the mind perceives a familiar pattern where none exists. It's also worth noting that our senses can be easily deceived. In a dimly lit room, for instance, our eyes might misinterpret a coat hanging on a door as a shadowy figure. Our ears might misinterpret the sound of the house settling as footsteps in the attic. These misinterpretations, fueled by our expectations and fears, can create a convincing experience of a ghostly encounter. All in all, the science behind paranormal activities and Ouija boards is rooted in psychology, not in the supernatural. It's a testament to the power of the human mind and how our beliefs and expectations can shape our reality. The mind is a powerful thing and it can make us believe in forces that aren't really there. So there you have it. The science behind ghosts and paranormal activities. We've delved into the intriguing concept of ghosts, the bone-chilling tales of paranormal activities, and the mystifying allure of Ouija boards. We've also explored the scientific explanations that can demystify these phenomena. From the power of suggestion, to infrasound and electromagnetic fields, we've seen how our minds and bodies can create ghostly experiences that seem all too real. While the supernatural can indeed be thrilling, the real excitement lies in the pursuit of truth. And for that, we need to approach these phenomena with a critical, scientific mindset. We must question, investigate, and think rationally, even when faced with the unexplained. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Investigating the Universe, and don't forget to like and share this video. Until next time, keep investigating.